Hi guys, this is Erica from Gokche Capital. Now before I begin, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on notifications. In one of my final year studios in architecture school, we retrofitted a shipping container to turn it into a ready-to-assemble school for deployment in a disaster context. We retrofitted the shipping container ourselves and gave it to a nonprofit, Architecture for Humanity, for deployment. But we were not the only ones thinking about shipping containers. The idea of building with shipping containers has become all the rage, and there are many homes and public buildings built from these objects. In fact, in Mumbai, there is even a proposal for a shipping container skyscraper. I'll show you that later. But in the meantime, if you are thinking of building your own shipping container home, here are some of the things you should know first. Number one, a container home is any dwelling made from a shipping container or containers. Now it's important to note that shipping containers generally come in two sizes, one that's 20 feet wide and one that is 40 feet wide. So they're small, but it is possible to combine multiple containers to create larger homes. Number two, a brand new shipping container will likely come from a manufacturer in China. However, many people like to use used containers, both because it's cheaper and because it has a lower environmental impact. And used containers are typically available in the US from either national dealers or local sellers. Number three, if you do plan on buying a container yourself, especially a used one, keep in mind that a container requires a forklift, or if it's one of the larger versions, a crane in order to move. Because I'm guessing most of you aren't authorized to use either of these vehicles, it can be difficult to acquire a container completely on your own. Thus, you should expect to enlist help in not only constructing and retrofitting your container, but also acquiring it and bringing it to the site. Number four, if you are considering buying a used container, be very careful when purchasing used containers as is. This is because many containers are used to transport dangerous or hazardous materials, and so can actually be a hazard to human health. They may also have been damaged and lack structural integrity or have rust doors that don't seal or other holes. Number five, fortunately, some companies do sell pre-built container homes. These homes have already been retrofitted and made habitable. Now it's more expensive to go this route, but for many of you, this could be a great option because you don't have to worry about building the home yourself or ensuring the container is in good condition or won't pose a health and safety hazard once you have converted it into a home. Number six, so we mentioned that the smaller shipping containers are only 20 feet wide, but in addition, the average shipping container, whether 20 or 40 feet wide, is typically only eight foot six inches tall. So it is narrow and short. Now, if you're thinking that's not too bad, keep in mind that you are going to lose both width and height when you start to retrofit the home because you will be putting in plumbing, electrical conduit insulation, and often drywall or drop ceilings. So you can easily use up a good foot of height just in retrofitting and adding your utilities. Therefore, if you are using a shipping container to build a home, it is a very good idea to buy a high cube container, which will give you another foot of height. Number seven, building permits for shipping container homes can be difficult to obtain. Many building and zoning codes prohibit container homes along with other non-traditional structures. So before going out and purchasing a few shipping containers, be sure to check with your local building and planning department to make sure that a shipping container home can be built on your land. Number eight, shipping containers must be insulated. Remember, shipping containers are simply metal boxes and metal provides no insulation against heat or cold. Now, remember earlier I talked about how retrofitting a shipping container is gonna eat up the already narrow interior space. What this means is that it can be difficult to insulate the interior, especially for the smaller 20 foot wide shipping containers. Often this means putting the insulation on the exterior, but you should always speak with your architect and builder to figure out the best solution for you. Number nine, the shipping container roof often lacks structural integrity. Shipping container roofs are not designed to withstand the same kind of loads that a regular home roof would be. Also keep in mind that, as we mentioned earlier, the shipping container roof has no insulation and is not going to offer any protection against heat or cold. You should therefore build a second roof that can support the appropriate weight loads. This roof should also be designed to help protect the shipping container from sun and provide additional insulation. Again, speak with your architect and builder about the best solution that will work for you. And finally, number 10, it is possible your shipping container home will rust. Shipping containers are made from metal and they are not always treated 
to protect them fully from the elements. Therefore, you will likely want to coat your shipping container with either an exterior coating of protective paint or clad it with some other kind of siding material to protect it from the elements and prevent rusting. And as I've already mentioned, speak with your architect or builder about the best kind of solution for you. So there you have it. Shipping containers have become a fairly popular building material, and there are many homes designed from these objects, including one proposed shipping container, Skyscraper. The skyscraper is proposed for Mumbai and is designed to hold a series of small apartments built out of a number of shipping containers. Perhaps this building will forever remain simply a proposal, but it's still pretty cool, no? Of course, a much smaller shipping container home would be far more feasible. So if you have any ideas about shipping container homes or buildings, let us know in the comments. Did you like this video? You're going to love our Gokche Land Due Diligence program. We'll make you a land due diligence expert in just seven days. Check it out at gokchecapital.com slash glad. And while you're at our website, don't forget to explore our $1 down properties at gokchecapital.com slash listings. Finally, don't hesitate to reach out with any questions. You can email, call, or text, and we will respond as soon as possible. So thank you for listening, and more to come.